In this video, we're going to find the exact values of trigonometric functions. Let's start off with finding exact values for sine 60 degrees, cosine 60 degrees, and tangent 60 degrees. To do this, we're going to need the unit circle. Okay, so all we need to do is locate the angle 60 degrees in the unit circle. Okay, so that angle, we can approximate that here okay so this is 60 so that's 60 degrees okay now remember that the exact values for sine cosine and tangent can be determined by the coordinates of this point right here okay namely sine 60 is the y coordinate cosine 60 is the x coordinate and tangent 60 degrees is y over x okay so again all we need to do is find the x and y coordinates of this point right here so how do we do that well we know that this is one because this is a unit circle and the radius is one so uh, that the length of that line is 1 uh, But then we can create a right triangle Okay, we can create a right triangle and Now so all we need to do is find the X and Y values the lengths of X and Y now, how do we do that? Well, we know that if one of the angles of a right triangle is 60, then the length of the hypotenuse is 60 times the length of the smallest side. Okay? Here, the smallest side is x. So, therefore, the length of x is one half of the length of the hypotenuse, which is 1. So, therefore, we can say that x is one half. Okay? So x is one half. This is just a property of right triangles that we know from geometry. So if that's one half and the hypotenuse is one, we can actually solve for y using the Pythagorean theorem. So, so the Pythagorean theorem says r squared equals x squared plus y squared. r is one, so therefore we have one squared x is one half so that's one half squared plus y squared okay one squared is one one half squared is one fourth plus y squared okay and then we can subtract one fourth both sides we have one minus one fourth equals y squared then that gives us y squared equals three fourth okay Take the square root of both sides, that gives us y equals positive negative square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 is square root of 3, square root of 4 is 2, so that's positive negative square root of 3 over 2. Now, take note that this is positive or negative, and that's because we have to look at the quadrant that we are in. We're in the first quadrant, and y is positive in that quadrant so we're gonna take the positive square root of 3 over 2 so y is positive square root of 3 over 2 and that's it so now since we know our coordinates we can then solve for the exact values that's all we needed so x is 1 half y is square root of 3 over 2 so we can then just plug these values in. So y is square root of 3 over 2. x is 1 half. And, well, y over x is tangent 60. y is square root of 3 over 2 divided by x, which is 1 half. The 2 cancels out. And that gives us square root of 3. So tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3. And that's it. That's all we needed to do. 